Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Since in our yesterday's video we discussed about how to calculate the expected weight of a child. So let's continue our discussion and today we will discuss about how to calculate the expected height of a child. But before beginning our today's discussion, there is a need to understand the difference between the length of a child and the height of a child. The length of a child is measured for babies less than 2 years and it is measured by using infantometer. An infantometer is a horizontal board on which the baby is made to lie down, where one person is made to fix the baby on the board while legs extended and another person can move the plate and read the length. For measuring a length of a baby, we require two people. Now let's move ahead and understand what does height mean. Height is calculated for people or children less than 2 years of age measured using a stadiometer. But we must remember what precautions should be followed while using a stadiometer. First, the footwear should be removed. Second, all the headgear should be removed. Third, the child should stand erect so that the eyes are parallel to the Frankfurt plane. The occiput back of the shoulder buttocks heel should be touching the vertical wall behind. And we must note that the standing height is always 0.7 cm less than the recumbent length which is due to the gravity. Moving ahead, let's learn about the usual length or height of a child. At birth, the baby's length is 50 cm. At 1 year, it increases and becomes 75 cm. At 2 years, it is 90 cm. And at 4 to 4.5 years, it is 100 cm. Now, let's talk about at what rates the length of a child increases. It increases by 50% in the first year. 100% in 4 to 4.5 years which means the length is doubled. The maximum growth takes place in the first year of life which is followed by puberty. Now let's understand at what rates the length increases with age. In the first 3 months, 3.5 cm increases per month. From 3rd to 6 months, there is an increase of 2 cm per month. From 6th to 9th months, there is an increase of 1.5 cm per month while from 9th to 12th month, there is an increase of 1.2 cm per month. From the 1st and the 3rd years of life, there is an increase of 0.8 to 1 cm per month. So now we are at the most anticipated section of this video. Let's learn how to calculate the expected height of a child. This is calculated with the help of a formula which is 6x plus 77 where x is the age in years. So let's take an example of a 10 years old child and calculate the expected height. 6 into 10 plus 77 is equal to 137 centimeters which means that a child of 10 years of age should have a height around 137 centimeters. The another parameter that gives the idea about the height of a child is the arm span. The distance between the middle finger of one arm to another when the arms are outstretched is measured. It is perpendicular to the rest of the body. But one must remember that this distance is 1 to 2 cm less than the height of children less than 10 years and in children more than 10 years this distance is 1 to 2 cm more than the height. Normally the difference between the arm span and the height is 3 cm. So let's end our today's video with summing up the answer of this question. The question is, at what age is the child's height half of the adult height? The average height of an Indian adult is 160 to 170 centimeters. Half of that is 80 to 85 centimeters. Age at which the child will be half of the adult height is 20 to 24 months. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. And see you in my next video. And yes, 
Please don't forget to check out our yesterday's video which was about how to calculate the expected weight of a child.